Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and welcome you to our other episode of creating a complete uh, marketplace uh, system that will be available on Android, iOS and also on the web platform on the website as well as the admin portal. So that's what we want to achieve at the end of this uh, lecture series. So without, that, without much say, let's go straight into our today's business. As you know, all is do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our counter. All right, so let's go straight into our today's business. So if you still remember, yesterday we uh, were able to create our um, API that would accept uploading of images. If you still remember, we were able to upload the image using what? Using uh, the using um using uh, postman so in today's lecture we are going to upload the image now using the mobile application itself then uh, we proceed so uh, then you proceed to other steps uh, all right so with that much said let's go straight into our today's business so i'm compiling application as it is compiling so i'll make sure that uh, as i even told you before that you have to find a way how you make your mobile application communicate with your local database you have to make sure that your mobile application communicates with uh, a local database i gave you the methods uh, for me that of mac uh, mine's already connecting successfully now all that i need is now to uh, to test each endpoint that i make if viewers can't connect, I really, uh, I don't know, I should say it, motivate you to find the videos that uh, will enable you to communicate either your emulator or your mobile phone with a what? With um, with your local database. Okay, so once you solve that problem, then you shall be on the good page for us to move in the same page space. Okay, so and it is possible. It is possible. Make sure that you can access the locals to your laptop, on your on your either emulator, on your phone. And I've already given you the method that you can use to do that. All right, that much said. Let's go straight into today's business. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to see how we can upload the photo uh, that we have into the what into the online database. All right, so what we're going to do, let's uh, use this test photo upload we're going to first begin by using this one once it is doing everything uh, properly then we shall go ahead and uh, do what and then do the the real uploading okay so i mean the the, the real uploading of the with the product all right so let's 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 start let's start let's start okay so first things first uh we're going to first generate our offline uh image model okay our, our mobile application or offline image model so to do that i'll come to our project so i'll come to localhost <clears throat> and then come to our market link project and let me log in There you go. All right. So I'll come here to code generator. I can just simply come to the project and then put stroke gens, and then we're going to create here a new what? A new class. Okay, a new class here. So this class is going to be image model. Image. I can put maybe local to make sure that we are able to identify it. And then uh, it will be picking the data from what? From our image models and the endpoint. I just simply put the same. We are not going to use the endpoint. This is going to be local. Uh, it's supposed to be gen, not gens, I think. Yeah, make sure that you, you're accessing it through gen, not gens. That's why my things are now that I'm sharing with you this. So, Gen stroke gen so come here and put the image local so put images and then come put the model to be the same so that is it then go ahead and click on generate model 
So I have our model there generated. Uh, so after doing that, I'm going to create now this class of that in our project. So I'll come to our project. This is our project. Then I'll come here to our models. Lib model. Go ahead and say new file and then paste there. Image model local dot that or can say image local mode uh, lo local model the dot okay then after pressing enter go ahead and copy everything there and then put it in the image model there so after doing so then you'll have the image model there all right so this comes with the code that i share with you and it's something that we did even in our previous lecture series so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to remove the online. So I can just simply delete this endpoint. See, this image is going to be totally offline. Okay. So let me remove this uh, image endpoint. Okay. Um, so after doing so, I'll come and also uh, remove uh, this HTTP request where there is get online items. I'll also remove it. I don't need that it's going to be totally offline and then after i'm going to come and uh, and um and do what and remove also the get online items okay so it will just be returning whatever is offline only so that is the offline image okay so we shall be using this one to manage the offline image things all right so with that must said um, what else do we need now is to create the instance of the image so to get the instance of the image, I've already, I've already prepared this code to save your time. So let me open it somewhere so I can be able to save, in, save your time rather than repeating ourselves as I explain. All right, so after doing so, after doing so, uh, we shall come back now to our project. So we want now an instance of creating a new image model, and then you put the other logic of uploading. Okay. Now, in this case, uh, we are going to make, since the ID of this image is going to be coming from online, the ID of this image is going to be coming from online. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this to be, I mean, it's not going to be coming from online. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this primary key to be auto increment. Okay, we're going to make it auto increment. So that if we don't uh, say the image, it should automatically increment. If we don't send the ID, the database should determine what should be um, the, the the ID, the unique ID of that image. So we make this one auto increment. So also another thing, uh, to JSON, to JSON, in this to JSON, we are going also to modify it. It's not going to be like our normal to JSON that you always have that gets data from the internet. Uh, so we're going to check if the ID is zero and we reset it. So to do that, we shall just simply say, uh, for example, you can just simply say map, and then it's going to be having a map of string stroke uh, dynamic. You can call it data equals two. So that is it. Okay. So here, before we return, before we return, okay, so it has to return. So before we return, I'll first check if ID is zero, I, I, I remove the ID. If ID is zero, I remove the ID. Okay, so let's say if ID is zero, remove it. 
so that it should be able to auto increment otherwise your things will not auto increment so that's how you solve that problem of auto incrementing things that are all local or offline all right so after doing so now let's go ahead and uh, and uh, work on the image uploading okay let's go ahead and work on the image uploading uh so let's come back to creating new image okay this uh creating uh, so let's go back to this screen where we are you the one that we use for testing the image and compression and compression logic let's go to that screen so we're going to be it's the one that you're going to use to practice everything so that screen is where i think it is uh let me see that's that screen is um let me just search for that compress size all right yeah so that screen is called image uploading screen that is the one that we had created before i believe if you're following the video you have this screen there image uploading screen where we're testing the compress the compression logic and also selecting the image something like that okay you still remember that so i'm going to go ahead and uh, put the select image so select image of course it has to work properly so in, uh, in my emulator i already have some images that i can use for testing so let me select this image okay so here next to the compress button i'm going to put maybe upload image okay upload image so let's come to compress button which is here where is it it is this one i believe <clears throat> it is this one so let's come that that button and then i'm going to add another button for uploading the image all right you can even skip the compression and then just work on the uploading only okay so let's change it for now okay let's add another button for uploading image uh so i can just simply come and duplicate this i hope we shall still have some room there all right okay it is okay so let's make this first one to be upload image okay upload all right so i'm going to remove everything here and then we're just going to focus only on uploading the image There you go. So I'm just going to create a, some simple function that I'm going to be calling when I'm uploading image. So I can say do upload image. That is the function that I'm going to use to test for image uploading. So I'll go ahead and uh, press Alt and Enter to create that uh, function. So I created this method. So it is here. So at that level, we're going to uh, we're going to now go ahead and do the logic of uploading the image. I like doing things from top. Let me put on top here. Here, 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 here. And put it here. Just uh, and put it here. It's okay. Let me put it here. All right. So it's just used for uploading images. I can just simply put details the toast and say uploading just for the sake of. So if I save and I click on. Um, upload you'll see uploading all right there we're good now we're good all right so now uh to upload image first of all we're going to check if uh the image the image path is not null so we check if uh path is empty we can say no image selected uh we go ahead and get the file file and say maybe f equals to uh file of the image we check if file does not exist we return back and say image i mean file no image to upload us or oh, image does not exist image not found all right so we proceed now at this level we can just simply make now a toss and say uh, good to go good to upload image going to upload image so if i submit there you see going to no image found so 
this file was not actually found i don't want uh, sorry i want just the image path not the compressed path the image path that we're displaying okay so if i now see you see going to upload file so that is now fine so for offline capabilities as i was always telling you uh we don't need just uh, to upload it directly we need to first save it on offline so even this person is adding products from offline they can uh, add the products offline and then later they upload when they are connected to internet that's what i want us to do so it means that we have to first save this thing offline okay so to save it offline it means now we're going to need the, our image model so it's just simply come and say image model so i can just simply put here maybe this one should be receiving a string and say maybe uh uh just uh, put underscore and say image path okay so it's the one that we shall be looking for all right so you now it's now going to ask for it here i just passed it here the image path okay but whoever you shall access to the underscore all right so i'm going to create a now an image model a lo mod local image model instance so i can call it img equals to img local like that all right so after doing so i'm going now to initialize different things so i can just simply come here and copy these different things that i need i might need all right so uh so after doing so i go ahead and uh, i go ahead and i go ahead and created art i don't need it name of the image i don't need it okay name the name of the image can just simply say I am just the name of the image to be uh, the image path. Okay, or can maybe stock item image something like that. You can just call it anything. However, if you can give your users ability to comment on image, that's why you can save the name of the image. All right, so let's go ahead and get the local ID. Now here we we don't have the local product. Okay, so we can generate just some local ID. Okay, we can generate just some local ID. So you can just simply say random okay and then say dot next int and then you put like that so by doing so it will be able to get for you some random integers so maybe you can get also maybe uh after doing so you can also attach the the current time eh? so you see i can't i attach the current time so you see i go ahead and attach on top of this i attach the current time over you can do all this in one line by just simply getting this and put it here then remove this so i get here some random value and then i also get the the random time i mean the current time so it will be very hard to get these random values and in the current time to be the exactly the same it will be a very low probability for that to happen so that's, let's say that is the local product photo i mean then the local the local the local id for this image because we shall uniquely identify this uh image online using its local id so i have to do that something that is actually very unique so this is the current time with these random figures you can even add more random figures okay so you can just simply do like this let me remove this time okay the string so i'm just adding that so let's see how our local value looks like can just simply put here and underscore so it will be very very hard to get uh the same name even if you're using different devices all right so if i go ahead let me display what we are getting here if i go ahead and save say submit or upload you'll see that uh what is it saying loading entire title consumes entire tile what is saying here again see that is our image uh so this time i do not like how it is you can just simply put dot mealy i think meal is here meal for each i don't know something like that
milliseconds for milliseconds since epoch so save that one uh let's see what you have that's what you have submit you see that is uh the random value with the current timestamp with a what with another random value so it is very hard to really come up with something that looks that's going to look the same yet so yeah that's how you get the unique number all right so after getting the unique number so we can even create a function that can be getting for us unique numbers we shall create it by now all right so that is uh that uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, so local id text we don't need that one local uh parent local id so this will be like the local parent id for the unique name of the, of the parent okay so this one can also be another unique value however keep it simple let us just make it one okay but we checked in the moment did some logic the other side that it should not be less than uh four five characters so in that case i'm going to create just our utils function utils function that's going to be saying get unique okay get unique it will be getting for us the unique string okay so I come here utils so get unique let's go ahead and create that so it's going to be returning string and then you can just simply say return we just get this time and then you convert it to string and then attach okay we attach we attach random like this we can do some very huge random and then you can also attach another random so yeah that's just a, a mile milliseconds uh it's just milliseconds millisecond with some random values okay all right so let's proceed um to get for us a unique id so if i come here and i put this one down you'll be able to see that uh, we're having something again really unique this one here i mean this one here it's very big and it is unique all right so that is okay now we proceed um we get local text uh this one i don't need it uh parent online i don't need it okay for now we can just keep it maybe one if it is there or can just uh if the parent has online value we can just make it let's say let's say one for now but it's optional uh uploaded by id this one will be uh generated when uploading so let's just keep this one as a comment here all right so uh, what do we need next the type the type we can make it we can call it a product uh it's a product you can keep it product in capital letters uh so what else do we need the local path so this local path is now the path of the image itself okay the path of the image itself the path of the image itself uh-huh so thumbnail path um we can leave that one for now we can leave that one for now online upload status and then details those are already empty so you can just leave those one for now so those are the main things that we need on an image you can look at you can pause the video and look at it then you're going to work now on uh, uploading this image okay on uploading this image so let's first save it uh before we upload it so to save it um the, the status it can be pending yeah upload status to be pending by default uh so yeah that's that's very important uh pending for upload so let's go ahead and save it so just simply say dot save and then here we go and make it a wait like that return this method to asynchronous all right so yeah that's it that's it that's it uh so after saving then we shall go ahead and uh, upload the images okay so let's go ahead and uh, 
see if it has saved successfully i can put here maybe saved saved successfully all right so we first save it and then we'll upload them later okay so um let's go ahead and submit you'll see saved it successfully so it has saved it uh successfully it has saved it successfully so this image is in our local so you have now these two images saved successfully all right so that's it yeah so now we're going to work on the logic of uploading them okay so this was the logic of uh, adding the image to the local database in fact instead of saying do upload let me just come here and say save image to local database i can reduce on the size of uh, this image that are displaying here let me make a height of uh, get the height divided by two so this image can be a uh, smaller still big let's see by divided by three make sure this one is divided by three that is okay also <clears throat> so let's change this method where we have upload okay so we can change this one let's put just some spacer between these two so one as uh, upload it's on 15 all right so that one is we can change this one to save image so it just saves image offline okay now let's go ahead and uh, work on the one to upload now to upload so i'll duplicate this guy and then and i'll duplicate those two buttons so they can be two um i can go ahead and rename this so this one can be now upload image upload image so let me rename this function to save image save save image okay so i'll come back here where there is actually save image and i put that one here now this method i'm going to create a method for uploading images okay method for uploading the images that are being saved so then we say do upload images okay and then i press alt and enter to create this method or i can just simply so this method does not need uh, anything because it will be reading the images from the local database so let me pass nothing there now let's come on top here and uh just put this and then say upload images okay all right so there we're going to now do the logic of uploading a single image okay so i can just simply put here a boolean and say uh, is uploading and make it false so i'll check i'll get now the images okay so i'll get the images that are offline okay and then start uploading them all right so i'll get the images that are offline just simply say list and say image model local and say uh, maybe images or pick something like that right so i get those ones that are offline get items so i can now check if uh if image is empty I say no image to upload if they are not empty i'm going to look through them just simply say four and then say uh var maybe img in images okay or can say maybe temp in images so i check if the image status is pending or i can just simply come here and put the where okay let me just check let me get all of them so if if uh image status upload status is not equal to so what is the original one it is pending so i uh, pending images are the one that we shall be uploading so if it is not pending we do what we continue we continue like this okay so i can come here and create an an object say image image to upload and make it to be uh just uh an empty image like this so if image is uh, not pending 
I continue. If the image is pending, I say images, I say code temp and I break, I break this loop. So here I go ahead and say, I check if, okay, image to upload length, a uh, local path length is zero, is nothing is empty. I just say no image to upload, okay? So I know I can say maybe all images have been uploaded. All images uploaded, something like that, okay? All right, so if, if otherwise I can say utils and say the toast to say time to upload image. I can even put here the path. So we shall know now that is the time to upload image. So I submit, upload image, you see, time to upload image, you see, the path is there. All right, so in this image, I'm going to, since we are going to reuse this function in many ways, so I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to create a, a function in, uh, I'm going to create a function in, I'm going to create a function in the image model classes that I'm going to be using to upload the images okay so it can be in one place so we can be able to reuse it so I'll just simply say IMG uh, so I can just so it will be returning a response of string so if it is an empty string we shall just know that it's successful if it is not empty we shall know there's an error so I can say maybe response equals to await and then say dot upload maybe self so it should upload itself something like that so we check if is not empty we can now go ahead and put toast and say uh, failed because and then we shall be returning the response of failure in the in the response that comes okay because that like this all right so and then we return all right so now this is uploading we can check if image is uploading return from there so here we shall be setting so here when you say upload self on top of this that is when you shall be setting uh, uploading to be true and when it finishes immediately when it finishes we set it to be false all right so let's go ahead and uh, and say that this one can we change the background color all right so that is okay so if it is successfully goes through that i can say successfully upload if this response not empty so that being so i'm going now to create upload self function on this image upload uh, model so that is going to be uploading the image so let me go ahead and press control and click on it all right so so let's go ahead and create the upload self uh what method in the image upload so come here to the image upload i mean sorry the image local image we're going to add a method called upload self so upload self is going to be a future method that is promising to return a string and called upload self so it have to be here i think like this all right so by default, we can be returning nothing for now. So at the end here, to return nothing. All right. So now I'm going to put here now uh, time to upload the image. Okay. So I can just print here. Say uh, time to upload image. -da 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 -da. Now that is where there is uh, business. Remove this. So you see time to upload image so it has reached there successfully all right so um now let's go ahead and uh, and work on the logic of uploading the image 
Um, first of all, you may need to first check if the image path is existing. So you can just simply first say, uh, let me first get uh, this. Uh, All right, first things first, uh, we first check if you are not connected to internet. So if it's not connected to internet, I can return back here and say, uh, not connected to internet, no internet connection, All right? By the way, we first check this one even before we call the upload image, okay? So we first check here, if it's not connected to internet, we should not even uh, bother to upload, all right? If it's connected, it's not connected to internet, you just say no internet connection because the image can't be uploaded to the internet connection. So I put it here, even before we, we bother. We don't bother even. So if it is not connected, I just turn back no internet connection. So second thing, we check if the status is uploaded. If the upload status, uh, if upload status equals to uploaded okay we return the image already uploaded okay so this image is already uploaded All right so we need fact check here before even upload All right so that's the second condition that condition we check for the file okay we get the file we check the file if it's existing so this is how you check can first initiate the file we can check it directly from here so you check we called it local path i think that's how where we save the file local path okay so you check if it is not existing i say failed now here we know now this is that this can happen maybe later because of maybe some issues so i put here the upload status to be failed okay the reason so this is the uh, message. You remember we had something called upload status details. Okay, so the reason here will be uh, uh, maybe image path does not exist. So we return. So that is in case the path does not what does not exist. We return that one. So it means that now this image will be marked as has failed. To upload maybe because the path does not what does not exist all right that is fine okay we proceed uh so we proceed to another thing now we go ahead and now create what we want to upload okay so go ahead and click what we want to upload so to create what we want to upload we just simply say uh this string and then you say dynamic and then say form photo i uh, mean so form data map equals to json you can call this anyone anything that you want because it is a what it is a variable so after doing so why is it not showing all right that's fine okay so uh here what i was trying to say you, you initialize this one here so if it does not exist uh all right so here we just create that map data and then the next thing is now to start setting maybe other variables but i believe almost that when you say to json almost everything that you want it has already come so you don't need to even set more things okay just in case you want to add more values you can go ahead and add them here maybe the person who is logged in you can get the logged in user here when you want to upload all right so let's go ahead and get the logged in user uh logged in user log the news goes to the get user i think that is how we get the logged in user i hope hope so all right all right so and then you go ahead and put here uploaded by and then you pass the user id and then put to string all right so uploaded by and then you pass the user id so this one is already there so 
we make sure that that is attached in the data that you have here or you can just first put it there and then you will confirm it you can just put it there first and then you will confirm it okay so after doing so now the next thing is um uh is now to uh compress the image so i wanted us to be compressing the image at this level when you are about to upload it that's when you do what you compress the image so uh so i'm going to go ahead and say upload path so the the part that we're going to upload all right the part that we're going to upload this is the image that we're going to upload okay so we make it empty by default so after making it empty then after doing so we go ahead and compress the image so this compressed image we surround it with try and catch with try and catch so if it successfully uploads i mean it successfully compresses we we create we initialize this path if it fails we put this path to back to original so here our original path we are calling it uh local path all right so here we put here local path now we're going to create a function in uh, our utils that you're going to be called that is going to be helping us to compress images we're going to call it compress image in utils so I press control and click on utils and then command I remember we have here compress image quality all these things here I have image compress right we did it last time uh, yep uh, yeah so let me add create another one here things much more um, stable I'm going to explain it so let me come back so I'll come on top of utils on top of our utils put here a method called compress image okay compress image it will just get the, the source path only uh -huh. then after doing so it will go ahead and get the temporary directory so we're going to have we're going to create a temporary directory so temporary directory it will be like a, a path which shall be keeping our temporary things for example when you compress this image you have to keep it in temporary directory okay so let's go ahead and do that so this is a, um, a function that will get for us a, a temporary directory let me put it here and i'm going to explain it don't worry so let me come here in the bottom of this function and then i put there the get temporary directory or get temporary folder so it needs get application document directory so this get application document directory we need an, uh, to add another package that will help us to manage uh, the folders on our device so that is called that ex, that that thing is called uh, path path provider that package so let's go ahead and add the package called path provider you can search to flutter packages and add it there so let me go ahead and add it our time is up but i want us at least to finish this while we can upload images so you put path provider there okay path provider then after we go ahead and run the flutter gate so it will run the flutter gate and uh, then after go back all right so you press alt and enter to be able to get now the path of the image of the directory so I check if there is a directly called temporary okay if it is not there i go ahead and create it this is how you create directory okay so after getting it i go ahead and say directory it is this one and then i check if it did exist if it fails i say fail to create directory if it finishes i return back the path so that will be our temporary directory on the mobile phone that we shall be using to create the path okay so this is what i'm doing here so i go ahead and get the base path okay so after doing so i go ahead and check if the path is empty i just simply say it failed to create the directory if the, this folder was not empty is it's not existing it is empty i just said fail create directory and return from here so we are here in the compressed image okay compressed image so if it does finish i go ahead and uh, get the image size in mbs all right after getting the image size in mbs and then i go ahead and call this function called get compress 
compression quality. It's a method that we create ourselves. This is called gate compression quality. Okay, so I have a better one that I think can work better for you as well. Okay, so it will help to get for you the quality in accordance to the size of the image. So let me show you the one that I have that I created. So here it is. So these are the different qualities. So according if this image is, is having M10 MBs, uh, if the quality is the image is uh, 10 MBs and above, uh, it should, I mean, if it's the image is greater than 10 MBs, you turn it 20 quality. Uh, if it is greater than 5, you turn uh, to maybe uh, 25 uh, quality. If it is greater than, so you can go ahead and look at these qualities, okay? So if it is the image reduces up to this size, you can be able to send the lesser quality, something like that. So the image should be compressed accordingly, according to its respective size. All right, so maybe this one I can make it uh, 30. At least let's make it 30, and then this one make it maybe uh, 35. All right, so we can have a better quality of images. All right, so let's proceed. All right, so we are here. Uh, we are here, so we convert the, we get the image size, and after we get the quality, and after we go ahead and get the compression name, and after then we get we go ahead at the original name. This one I just I was just using this one for testing. So after getting those two, after getting those two, you see how I'm getting them. So I get the absolute, and then I say split, and then say last to get the original name. So I go ahead and say compression uh, name is going to be uh, the temporary and then I say random, get this random and get this random. Yeah, and then I put the original name there. Okay, so I get these random values and I put the original name there. And then after I say compression path equals uh, the base path, the, the compression where you're going to put the image that you're going to compress is equal to the the base path or the the base directory, the temporary directory, and then I pass the compression name. Then I check if I create here X file and make it result, and uh, it is nullable. Put a question mark, make it nullable, and I go ahead and check. I say I run now this file, flutter compress image, and then I pass compression. Then I pass here the quality. You can see what we did last time almost. And then if it fails, I uh, just simply say it fails to compress because of that. And uh, if it successfully compresses, I return the. <coughs> if it fails, I return again the source. If it successfully compress, I go ahead and return the result. And I return its what? Its path. Again, I return the compression path. This one is just doing it for in case I just want to display those things in the bot in the in the path. So you can see that is the compression file, I mean compression function that I created. But I think you can also start from that one to create even maybe a better one. So understand it. So that is how we compress images. So let me go back now here. So here I compress the image after compressing it. Uh, let's see if it can compress successfully. Okay. So let me just put here print. Um, so it's a original original path it is that one and then compressed path is that one let's see if they are not the same then you shall know it has compressed successfully if they are the same then you shall know that what that it failed all right so let's go ahead and put this on here so we need to run our application again if we try to upload right now it will fail because the it will fail to create the, the base path. Okay, it has, I think it has it has done it. It has done it, yeah. So upload success, complete successfully. Yeah, but sometimes you may need to run your emulator again afresh. So you see, it has successfully <coughs> compressed for me. So the original path, it is this one, which has the word shopping, and then our 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 what our compressed path. It is this one here. So this is the path that is actually compressed. This is the path that is actually, I mean, the original path. Okay. So you can even check 
the size of the original size and the original and then the, the, the compressed size so let me just simply put here um maybe say uh file one let's say maybe f1 equals to file and i get the file that i'm going to upload which is the local path and then f2 equals to that so i can just simply say and uh, say maybe int int size one equals two that one and then size two so maybe two mbs then that will be the size one this will be our size two and then let me display this one so that is the first eh? let's say kb or mbs Right, so and then this is our second. All right, so those are the kilobytes. Yeah, let's go ahead and see the kilobytes of each. So upload image. So it is actually compressing. So you see the first one and the second one. The original one is actually small. So this image is very small. Let's remove it. Okay, just notice it is compressing. Okay, we shall look at that later. All right, so yeah, so that's it. So this can actually compress our image. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. So yeah, so there we can now know that uh, it is actually compressing. You can test and make sure that it is actually compressing the thing. All right. So uh, after doing that, after doing so, now uh, we proceed with our upload self. Upload self. So here we have compressed. After compressing. Then we go ahead and add the file that we're going to upload like this. So this is how you add it. Let me show you. You just simply say form data map and then since the, on the online we're using photo. So I can put here photo. Remember online we're using the word photo. If you still remember in our API we're using the word photo as the name of the image to upload. And let's say equals to await. And let's say malt part. And then you import this one the one of Dio and then here you put the file that you're going to upload and then here you put its name the name of the of that file so you can put here the name that we're using or we can just simply pass this name so it can be totally unique so the file that you're uploading and then something like that you see so I hope you're together right so after doing so then we are going to run our response model so our response model you already have it in your project in the code that i shared with you response model yep like that so we are going to uh put here what you are uploading here all right so we are uploading with the endpoint where we are uploading the image to it is image uploading this one here all right so let's go ahead and put there image uploading like that all right so we can go ahead and see what has come from the response model so the response model we know it will return so let's let's see just what has returned from the response model then we can take it from there so print and then see here what we have in the response model all right so I can just simply say print so that code all right so that will be the code dot message dot data and uh, then we close all right so there we go there we go so here we're going to see what is coming from the online so let's open our console and then go ahead and say upload image so uh, how we're getting 404 uh does not exist does not exist okay let's see how i've been sending this http post i think we've been adding the word api so code shift f uh we've been adding the word api in front of it i think yeah 
let's add the API in front of it. Uh, submit image. All right, so this is the response zero, exception thrown, 500. Um, status 500. Haha, <laughs> so you see, having a lot of things. Eh? Uh, let's see what is happening. Uh, response mode here. Da -da -da -da. So it is success, it fails, right? So fail by response. So having 500 on the server, right? Having 500 on the server. Let's see if we are able to reach the endpoint that we want. Our video has become too long, but it is worth it. So have here image uploading, okay? Image uploading is the same that you're having here. All right, so let me just return success and you see if we can just reach here. So let us return success and see if it can actually just reach here. So you just return success and say uh, null and say maybe file upload success. So I'm just returning it from top, top, top here. We just see if it will reach there. So I click on upload. So you see it, it cannot reach there actually. Let me first remove uh, these unnecessary prints that you're having here. So, it starts uploading. So, you see the error. Uh, so, the API is not being reached correctly. Uh, so, let's see how I fix that. Um, what is our base URL? HTTP Let's see, can we access this one? Mm, yes, we can access it Yep Oh See, there are two different <laughs> repositories This one is pointing at main this one is pointing at uh, well, our logic has been on web, not main. Let's try to put that one off web. Let's try to run it again. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I'll come here to Products, add products, uh, test, and let's say upload image. All right, let me just select at least one image. All right, so upload image. So it's bringing 500. All right, let's start from there in the next lecture. Let us start from there in the next lecture, however. The remaining part is simpler, the biggest part we have done it. And once we finish that, the rest of the logic will not be so much complicated. Alright, so make sure that you reach up that level if you can solve that problem well and good. And you can see how I'm uploading it. You see? The upload and then this is how we actually upload the image. Where have I been putting this logic? an image upload yeah all right so see how you fix that however in the next lecture we're going to start from there and uh, make sure that we succeed uploading the image in that uh, systematic way goodbye and see in the next lecture just make sure that you practice and make sure that you understand so i see you Unless you have a question. Hello? See you. Do you have a question?
No, sir. Have you taken it? Somehow. Okay, then. See you. Just Pardon. practice, practice, okay. practice. All right. <laughs>